Hey there, future real estate rock stars. Welcome back to our channel where we're all about crushing those math concepts on the real estate exam. I'm Maggie Veyoso, your trusty real estate instructor and the owner of Maggie's Real Estate Academy. And today we're diving into one of the trickiest topics, solving property tax questions on your exam. But don't you worry, we've got this. By the end of this video, you'll be a property tax problem solving pro. All right, let's jump into it with a classic property tax question that you might encounter on your exam. A property market's value is $250,000. The assessment rate for the house is 15% with 27.5 mils. Find the annual property tax. Sounds daunting, right? But trust me, it's all about breaking it down step by step. Here's the secret sauce. Step one, just convert the percent amount into a decimal. You should always convert the percent into a decimal when working on any percent problem. The way to do this is to divide that percent amount by 100. Now you convert it into a decimal, which make things much easier to work with. So 15 divided by 100 equals 0 0.15. Now we're ready. Step two, determine the assessment value. Next, we need to find the assessment value of the property. To do this, simply multiply the market value by the assessment rate, which is given as 15%. Let's do the math. Market value of $250,000 times the assessment rate of 15% or 0.15 equals $37,500. So the assessment value is $37,500. Step three, convert millage rate into decimal. To convert the millage rate into a decimal, just divide the millage rate given by 1,000. In this example, we're given a millage rate of 27.5. So 27.5 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.0275. Now we're ready to do the final calculations. Step four, calculate the property tax. Now that we have the assessment value, we can calculate the annual property tax using the millage rate provided, 27.5 mils. So assessment value of $37,500 times the millage rate of 27.5 divided by 1,000 that's going to equal $1,031.25. Voila! The annual property tax for this property is $1,031.25. But wait, we're not done yet. Let's amp up the challenge with a slightly trickier question. Question number two. A commercial property has a market value of $400,000. The assessment rate is 20% and the millage rate is 45 mils what would be the annual property tax for this commercial property? All right, here we go again. We've got the steps on our side and we're not backing down. Step one is to convert the percent into a decimal. Remember to divide by 100. So for this problem, we see we have an assessment rate of 20%. We now have to convert that into decimal form by dividing by 100. So 20 divided by 100 equals 0 0.20. Step two is to determine the assessment value. Now we multiply the market value times the assessment rate. That is going to give us the assessment value. We're going to get the market value of $400,000 and multiply it by the percent that we just converted into decimal. So $400,000 times 0 0.20 is going to give us $80,000. Step three is to now convert our millage rate into decimal form. So we get 45 mils and we divide it by 1,000. So 45 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.045. Our final step is to get the assessed amount and multiply it by the millage rate. So $80,000 times 0 0.045 equals $3,600. So our final answer to this question is D, $3,600. Let's try another one just to be on the safe side. Question number three, a cozy suburban property has a market value of $240,000. 
The assessment rate is 10% and the millage rate is 40 mils. Calculate the annual property tax for this lovely home. Remember, step one is to convert your percent into a decimal. So we get 10% and convert it into a decimal. 10 divided by 100 is going to equal 0 0.10. Now we get the market value and multiply it by our percent in decimal form. So $240,000 times 0 0.10 equals $24,000. So now step three is to convert our millage rate into decimal form. So 40 mils divided by 1,000 is going to equal 0 0.040. Now we multiply our assessed amount by our millage rate in decimal form. So $24,000 times 0 0.040 equals $960. So the annual property tax for this lovely home is C, $960. And finally, let's conquer this next question, our last challenge for the day. Question number four. A commercial property is valued at $800,000. The assessment rate is 22% and the millage rate is 60 mils. Calculate the annual property tax for this commercial property. Step one is to get our percent and convert it into a decimal. In this example, 22% is our percent. Convert it into a decimal by dividing by 100. 22 divided by 100 equals 0 0.22. Step two is to find the assessment value. So we get the market value of $800,000 times 0 0.22, that's gonna equal $176,000. Step three is to convert our mills into a decimal. 60 mills is our millage rate. When we divide it by 1,000, that's going to equal 0 0.060. Now we multiply our assessed value times our millage rate in decimal, so $176,000 times 0 0.060 equals $10,560. So the annual property tax for this commercial property is B, $10,560. High five real estate champions, you've mastered property tax calculations for the exam. Now, when those questions pop up, you'll knock them out of the park. But remember, practice makes perfect. So keep honing your skills with similar problems. If you want more awesome real estate exam tips, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of the math slaying content. For those of you that are already subscribed, thank you very much. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to drop a comment below. We're here to help you succeed in your real estate journey. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, happy studying and best of luck to you on your real estate exam. If you're looking to elevate your math understanding and boost your chances of acing the real estate exam, I wanna share something special with you. Introducing Math Skills for Real Estate Success, your ultimate companion to mastering real estate math packed with comprehensive exercises, step-by-step -step explanations, and invaluable tips this workbook is designed to help you conquer any math challenge that comes your way. Head over to justcallmaggie.com forward slash shop and grab your copy today. Trust me, this workbook will be your secret weapon in becoming a math wits in the world of real estate.